Okay, so now we look at the last subtopic in chapter 2 which is subtopic 2.5, population ecology. Okay, so first of all, what is population ecology? It is the study of population and their environment. So actually, this population ecology will be related with population growth. So what is population growth? It is the change which is increase or decrease in the number of individuals or population size. Okay, so population growth, we look at the changes. Either the population size or the number of the individual are increase or decrease. So, what is affect the population growth? So, it can be affected by birth. Okay, birth or birth rate or we call as natality. So, birth rate can increase the size of population. Okay, death rate or mortality can decrease the size of the population. Okay, and also it can be affected by immigration. So, when immigration occur, so it can also increase the size of population. Okay, and then when emigration occur, it can decrease the size of population. Okay, so this is, uh, we said that the factors that can affect the population growth. Okay, so if you look at here, factors that affect population growth, what is the connection? So, natality means birth rate. Birth rate means kadar kelahiran. Mortality is death rate. Uh, so, death rate is kadar kematian. So, what is the relationship? If natality greater than mortality, so what happen to the population size? Population size will be increased. Okay, maksudnya bila kadar kelahiran lebih tinggi daripada kadar kematian, so population size akan meningkat. And then if mortality greater than natality, so what happen to the population size? It will be decreased. Okay, sebab apa? Kadar kematian adalah lebih tinggi daripada kadar kelahiran. Okay, and then what happen if natality is equal to mortality? So, the population uh, population size will be stable. Okay. Next, we look at this one. So, population growth, actually, it will depends on... The first one we call as biotic potential. Second, we call as environmental resistant. So, we look first what is biotic potential. So, biotic potential in the definition is maximum reproductive capacity of an organism under optimum environmental condition. So, what is the optimum environmental condition? It is when the environmental resources are unlimited. Okay, or we can also say that biotic potential actually it is the ability of the organism to reproduce under environment under optimum environmental condition. So we look at the maximum reproductive capacity, okay, of an organism under optimum environmental condition. So this biotic potential will depends on several factor. The first one we call as the beginning age of reproduction. Second, how often reproduction occur. And then third, how many offspring are born at a time. Okay, so maksudnya untuk biotic potential ni kita lihat kepada maximum reproductive capacity of organism. Maksudnya seberapa banyak uh, kita kata reproductive capacity. Okay, reproduction yang berlaku dalam sesuatu organism. Dalam optimum environmental condition Di bawah optimum environmental condition Okay, maksud unlimited environmental resource ni Contohnya, bila kita katakan adanya unlimited food And then unlimited space So, what happen? The tendency of the organism to undergo reproduction is increase Okay Sesalunya, kalau misalnya the population size is increased. So, we can say that the, the biotic potential of the organism is maximum. Okay. So, another one, we look at environmental resistance. So, what is environmental resistance? It's, it is the combination of biotic and abiotic factor that limit the growth of the population or we uh, or we call this as limiting factor. So, environmental resistance is any factor that can limit the population growth. Uh, for the example, predation, food, water, light and space. Okay, so let's say 
uh, if there is not enough food, okay, so we can say that it is environmental resistant. So, bila kita kata makanan tak cukup, so dia akan boleh limit the growth of the population. Okay, samalah dengan if there is no space or no light. So, it can affect the growth of the population. So, environmental resistant ni sebenarnya adalah limiting factor. So, what is the effect okay, of, env of environmental resistant? So, population growth slow and population size tends to stabilize which is it will reach its carrying capacity. So, later I will explain what is carrying capacity and then population growth rate may become zero. May become zero so means that it will be stable. Okay, and then it will describe by S-shaped growth curve. So, this one is S-shaped growth curve or sigmoid growth curve. Okay, so kalau awak ingat balik, okay, untuk S-shaped growth curve or sigmoid growth curve, first phase here we call as lag phase and then this is exponential phase. Here is decelerating phase and the last one is the stationary phase. Okay. So, kalau kita compare dari segi growth rate so in lag, uh, in lag phase, the growth rate is low. Okay. And then because of what the organism is still adapt to the new environment. Okay. And then after that is log phase or exponential phase. So, during exponential phase, the growth rate is rapid. Because of what? Here, the resources are unlimited. But what happened in decelerating phase here? Okay. You can see here the growth rate starts to slow down. Because of what? Environmental resistance starts to take effect here. So, ingat tadi environmental resistance means limit limiting factor. Contohnya, bila berlakunya limited of food, so bila makanan tak cukup, so dia akan affect the population growth. So, what happen after that? The growth will become, the population size tends to become stable. So, here we call as stationary phase. Okay, so actually this is what we call as carrying capacity. Uh, carrying capacity actually we look at the stable phase. Okay, at the population. Okay, so kita tengok detail what is carrying capacity. Okay, so carrying capacity is the num maximum number of individuals that particular environment can support. Okay, and then it is a condition when population growth slow and population size tends to stabilize near to a maximum value or steady level. Okay, so konsepnya adalah sama. So, let's say this is the sigmoid growth curve. Okay, so awak akan tengok dia akan ada satu stable phase here. Okay, stable population. So, stable population ni lah yang kita panggil sebagai carrying capacity. For the example, if the question ask you, so what is the carrying capacity of this population? So, awak cari bahagian yang stable here. So, the answer is 1000. So, this is the example. Tengok bahagian yang paling stable. So, ini kita panggil sebagai carrying capacity. So, carrying capacity, it refers to the maximum number of individuals that particular environment can support. So, means that in this environment, on only 1,000 of individu individual can be support by this environment. So, ni adalah carrying capacity. Okay. So, what is the factors that influence the carrying capacity? The first one, quantity of resource available. Second, quantity of resource consumed by each individual. And then another one, size of the population. Okay, uh, so for this one, you have to know, okay, what is biotic potential, environmental resistance, and then carrying capacity, and then what is the factors that affect the population growth. So, you have to know the relationship here, okay?